Garrett. Tonight, four missing Canberra teenagers found alive in Morton National Park. But first, as we go to air, the Southcare Rescue helicopter is winching to safety four Canberra teenagers missing since Saturday. The group was overdue from a four-day bushwalk near Pigeon House Mountain in the Morton National Park. It was shaping up to be another day of frustration for searchers. Low cloud, rain, five helicopters including Southcare and 75 police and emergency service workers waiting for a break in the weather to retrace the steps of the four hikers. Brother and sister Chris and Karen James, 16-year-old Alison Robb and 17-year-old Stephen Rowe, all from the Womboyn area. They'd planned a 48-kilometre hike and were due at the Pigeon House Mountain car park on Saturday. Searchers knew the party were well clothed and had enough food to last until yesterday. But what puzzled them was they'd found no trace whatsoever of the group. Family and friends stayed near the search headquarters. The families of the missing teenagers wish to express their sincere appreciation for the efforts of all the emergency services involved and for their, their prompt res response. Today, Southcare winched a woman searcher who'd fallen and broken her leg to Nowra Hospital. It was then called back to make a last sweep of a rugged canyon area where a police officer thought he'd heard yells for help. Just a short while ago, Southcare located the teenagers. It's believed they're safe and well, and they're being winched to safety as we go to air. George Wood, Prime Local News. The rescue has ended an anxious few days for Canberra friends and schoolmates of the teenagers who attended Dixon College. The expedition was part of a Queen's Scout activity and the Canberra Scouting movement says it was always optimistic. For the past few days, schoolmates of the four at Dixon College have been hoping for good news. It came just an hour ago. The expedition was part of a Queen's Scout activity for trip leader Chris James. The 17-year-old Year 12 student is a senior venturer with the Majura Group and had discussed his plan with experienced members of the scouting movement. Majura Group leader and Dixon College teacher John Hood says he was confident in Chris's ability in leading the group, which included his sister Karen. And in all those situations where there has been stress and challenge, he's behaved very, in a very level-headed way and very calmly. Local scouting leaders say as the search continued today, there was growing worry over the group's food supply, but they were always optimistic, believing Chris would have been following his venturer training in a time of trouble. they in a situation where they don't know which way to go, and in that case, they're, they're taught not to go anywhere, but to wait. That wait is now over. Andy Anderson, Prime Local News. And we'll have a full report on the rescue on tomorrow night's leaved parents last night after being found just 12 kilometres from where they began their hike. Anyone else would have found it so much harder if I was doing it with anyone else, but these guys, we worked so well together. And no one really panicked. Stephen Rose speaking at the end of the ordeal. Hours after being found by a search party, the four teenagers had received medical checkups and after a week of rationing their supplies, some welcome food and drink. That was my first that time hiking ever. So I was just like, is hiking always like this? <laughs> they were just thankful to be rescued and thankful that finally, after all the frustration, they were out of the area and safe. Relieved parents and children were reunited last night. The teenagers spending their first night in a comfortable bed for a week. Earlier, there was jubilation at the forward command post at Yadborough as word came through the four had been found safe and well. We're elated. <laughs> yeah. It was news families and friends had waited days for, a period they say was agonising. Each day you'd start expecting that uh, they'd be here when you got here in the morning, and the hardest part was going home at night realising they hadn't turned up that Walking day. Into the, the teenagers, Chris and Karen James, Alison Robb and Stephen Rowe, were in decent health after the ordeal. They got lost on the first day of the expedition in the rugged Morton National Park after starting at the wrong spot. The group became the subject of one of the biggest searches in the area for years, with about 120 personnel and up to seven helicopters involved. They were found about 12 kilometres from their starting point and walked to a plateau to meet the Southcare helicopter for their preliminary medical checks, then a flight to Nowra. They were cold and wet and tired and hungry. Uh, other than that, they were in good spirits, they were well prepared, they had their equipment with them and they knew that eventually they would be found. From the families, nothing but praise for the search effort which rescued their children. I'm pretty impressed by the professionalism and very appreciative of these 
bunch of volunteers that have gone out there in some pretty rugged country and some pretty unpleasant weather. Andy Anderson, Prime Local. Seven days in rough terrain, but all was safe and well. It was a massive search and rescue effort, 80 volunteers, spotter planes, five helicopters. Their cries for help finally heard mid-afternoon. They, they just kept going, like yelling at us and stuff. I'm like, yeah, it's the time to get out of here. <laughs> Their parents, waiting at the forward command post, collapsed into each other's arms. Yeah, they started crying. I was like, oh, didn't know it was that important. <laughs> they were meant to trek for only four days. By the end of day five, they were worried. They set up camp, waited, divided the rations. Mainly noodles and good old carrots. The food might not have got them through, but the friendship did. It was really, you know, building like mentally and emotionally. Like we, we worked so well as a team. Um, that was my first at time hiking ever. So I was just like, is hiking always like this? <laughs> but the mission wasn't entirely finished. This morning, the helicopters had to go back up to airlift the rescue team. They'd been forced to spend the night in the national park. They picked up 30 search volunteers from all over the park to ferry them back to Ulladulla and waiting at the helipad, the recovered teenagers wanting to say thanks in person. Well, thanks for all your work. Uh, all your okay, in Ulladulla, Chris Reason. Womboyne teenagers at the centre of a massive search earlier this week near Ulladulla say they'll now think twice before going on another trek. The party had become hopelessly lost in rugged terrain in the Morton National Park. Now back at home, Chris James, 17, his sister Karen, 15, Steve Rowe, 17, and 16-year-old Alison Robb have been the focus of attention since becoming lost in the Morton National Park. Oh, no, Chris. <laughs> They'd spent eight days and seven nights isolated, rationing food and trapped by rugged cliffs. They're so beautiful when you get up to them, but um, when you actually get to them and find that you can't go that way, which direction you've been travelling for a whole day, um, and then you just have to turn around and come back. But despite the teenagers' frustration, they remained positive, always confident they would survive. Their main concern, however, worried parents. We sat down and said, look, our family's going to be really worried. And then immediately we said, OK, we can't think about that. There's nothing we can do. The frustration for the bushwalkers didn't end there. They'd seen helicopters flying overhead, but despite their efforts, weren't spotted by rescuers until three days later. When we saw helicopters jump up, put lots of green things in the fire to make smoke and we had an orange jacket and we're flapping it around. The group says they're still wondering how they became lost. We're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> we get a headache when we look at the maps now. The four will continue bushwalking but next time we'll be better prepared. Nicholas Boot, Prime Local News. Comfortable bed for a week. Earlier there was jubilation at the forward command post at Yadbra as word came through the four had been found safe and well. We're elated. <laughs> yeah. It was news families and friends had waited days for, a period they say was agonising. Each day you'd start expecting that uh, they'd be here when you got here in the morning and the hardest part was going home at night realising they hadn't turned up that Walking day. Into the, the teenagers Chris and Karen James, Alison Robb and Stephen Rowe were in decent health after the ordeal. They got lost on the first day of the expedition in the rugged Morton National Park after starting at the wrong spot. The group became the subject of one of the biggest searches in the area for years, with about 120 personnel and up to seven helicopters involved. They were found about 12 kilometres from their starting point and walked to a plateau to meet the South Care helicopter for their preliminary medical checks, then a flight to Nowra. They were cold and wet and tired and hungry. Uh, other than that, they were in good spirits, they were well prepared, they had their equipment with them and they knew that eventually they would be found. From the families, nothing but praise for the search effort which rescued their children. I'm pretty impressed by the professionalism and very appreciative of these bunch of volunteers that have gone out there in some pretty rugged country and some pretty unpleasant weather. Andy Anderson, Prime Local News.